Bruins hosting the Stars. The Stars are plus 100 on the money line. The Bruins are minus 120. The over-under, five and a half goals. The Stars getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 245, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Bruins laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 198, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two goals or more. Has to end in regulation. They played each other once this season, and the Bruins won that game 3-2 to two in Dallas. Thank you to everyone who has joined the Discord, who continues to join it. And if you haven't, you should. Hockey is my best sport. I post all of my daily best bets in there every single day with my record. And that's for all sports and college basketballs in there exclusively. Head-to-head, -head, the Bruins are on a three-game winning streak. They are 8-2 and two against the Stars in their last 10. The road teams won the last two. They've played against each other. The home team is 6-4. and four. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line, while the underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 8-2. and two. There have been seven one-goal games in their last 10 meetings, including the last two that they've played against each other. The under is hitting their last three. The under is 8-2, and two, and the under at 5.5 goals is 8-2. And, and it's supposed to be Ottinger and Ulmark. Neither goaltender has been confirmed. And the Bruins are just not playing well lately. The Stars are 3-1 and one in their last four. There was five goals, six goals, 11 goals, and then seven goals. Three goals and a win, four goals and a win, nine goals and a win, and then three goals and an overtime loss. And at least when I'm wrong and I get blown out like that, I don't feel quite as bad, but damn, like they just gave it to the Predators. And for the Bruins, they are on a four-game losing streak, and they are looking to stop that losing streak at home because all of those games that they lost were at home. Four goals, five goals, five goals, and then nine goals. Shutout and a loss, two goals and a shootout loss, one goal and a loss, and then four goals and an overtime loss. The kid comes out of the penalty box and scores his first career NHL goal in overtime. Just kind of poetic. I am going to take the Stars with the money line. I will take the Stars getting the goals, and I'm going to go over. The Bruins haven't been playing the best defense lately, and the Stars have been scoring. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.